Have you ever gotten messages that repeated themselves over and over and over, but you couldn't quite make sense of it with your logic? Sometimes we get messages like, you have to rest. And you're like, I am resting. Look at me doing self-care. I'm going to yoga. Why do you keep telling me this? Well, today I'm going to be talking about that, a message I've been resisting for a while and how to stop resisting. And I'm also going to be talking about why I'm taking a sabbatical and why I'm taking a pause on this podcast. So this will actually be the last episode you listen to for a little while. So stay tuned. Welcome to Spiritual and Ambitious. I'm your host, Whitney McNeil. I'm a certified medium and spiritual teacher, and I help spiritual and ambitious souls just like you live your life purpose through your career and attract abundance by connecting into your intuition and spirit guide. Let's get spiritual and ambitious. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Spiritual and Ambitious Podcast. And this is going to be the last episode that you're going to hear for a while. I'm just taking a brief pause and I'll explain that inside of this episode. But before we get started, let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards. All right. The first card that came out is the Detox card. What a beautiful card and correlation for what I am sharing with you today. But this is, it's time to purge and let go, release and clear your energy. Oh my gosh. I've been getting this message for a while and we're going to go deeper with it. But the next card that comes with it is the abundance card, which is abundance is here. The universe is so generous. So this is perfect to start us out with getting those messages that we resist. So a lot of time when we resist messages, it's because our ego doesn't like it. Our ego is not a fan. It doesn't make sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense financially. It doesn't make sense because it goes against the plan that we have set for our path. But spirit says, um, you are on the wrong path. We have to pause and recalibrate. So let's just say that you've been getting that rest message. Well, one of the reasons that you could be getting it is because you are accelerating your vibration and your body needs to catch up. So you do need to take a pause. It could be that you're going down the wrong path and that you are going so fast, you can't actually get the messages from spirit because you don't want to hear what they have to say. And that's one of the reasons we do resist our messages. Basically, we resist our messages because one, we think they're not right. So we second guess them. Or it could very well be that we need to unblock our mind, our chakras, and that we do need to develop more of our intuition. Sometimes people just expect the intuition is going to magically turn on. And while when our spirit guides need to give us a message that is really, really important, they oftentimes slap us upside the head like, hey, this is it. But when we need to receive that divine guidance for our purpose for the next steps, we need to get quiet. We need to be in a place where we have developed that intuitive muscle, so to speak, so that we do receive accurate messages. And sometimes we resist messages because our ego gets in the way when we're trying to clear our minds and we don't get the accurate message from spirit. But largely what I'm talking about in this episode the messages that just go against what we wanted to hear. And sometimes this leads people to getting reading after reading after reading where spirit is saying the same stuff. They're like, surely, surely this is not the answer. I need an answer that goes with my plan. And that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to be discussing how to stop resisting. But let's go ahead and get into the message I've been resisting. So, you know, I teach intuition, right? And I teach how to talk to spirit guides. And so I have been getting a message for a while that I need to rest. I need to slow down. I need to pause. I haven't really resisted it in a sense of, I don't like it, go away. What I've been doing is taking more vacations, taking more time off. But what I've noticed is that that message still persists. So I have to ask my spirit guides even more. All right, you keep giving me these messages and I'm doing what you're telling me to do. I need to lean into what you're saying. Can you explain it a little bit more? So the first 
thing I'm going to say to you to stop resisting your messages, lean into the message even more. Just as if you're having a conversation with somebody who is a physical human, if you don't understand what they're saying, and this happens so many times, especially in retrograde, where we just are coming from different places, but we think we understand, we have to say, could you explain that a little bit more? You tell me to rest and I am resting. I am making sure I'm getting my sleep. I am taking time off. I am creating boundaries for my weekends. What does this really mean? Why do you keep telling me this? I don't get it. And so I had to really lean into it. And there's a place that happens where you have to just be open and receptive. And this is the place where most people start resisting, where they will second guess themselves. They will kind of make up excuses about why they don't have time to listen to spirit. And they will not talk to their spirit guides on a regular basis because it feels scary. This happens when we know we are getting a message that doesn't necessarily feel as easy for us to take action on. So what I'm going to invite you to do is to truly surrender in that moment and just open up and know that you don't have to take their advice, even though it's really smart if you do. You don't have to be on their timeline, even though they're suggesting it. And most of the time they're right, but you still have free will. And when you just get curious, what are you really telling me? That's when you truly get the messages. And then you start to get curious. So what I'll say is, okay, can you tell me more? And I received a very clear message when I really became curious and they told me, you need to take June, July, and August off. And I said, well, how is that possible? And honestly, that is the next right question to ask. How is this possible? So when you get a message that doesn't really make sense or it doesn't go with your logic, maybe it feels like, can't take time off. I have a business to run. I have a team to pay. I have a podcast to produce. I have a membership that I need to be doing ongoing things for, which is exactly what I thought. I had to ask myself, huh, how would it be possible? And so I had to ask my spirit guides, how is this possible? Now their message is, it just is. You just stop doing it. And my logical brain said, well, but in order to continue to help my team, to continue to help the people listening to this podcast, to continue to help my clients and my customers and my students, I need to continue to do things. And Spirit was saying, if you continue to do these things, you're actually not going to be helping them because you're not helping yourself. You need to recalibrate and recharge. And so I started to get curious. I started to sit down with my husband and we just kind of went through this brainstorm. Well, how could this be possible? What would this look like? I talked with one of my closest friends. What would this be like? What do you think about this? Okay, now I have plan A, plan B, plan C. What would that be like? Is this the smartest financial decision? Seemingly no, seemingly no feels like you're going to be pausing your membership, Whitney, or you're going to be canceling it. You're going to be refunding people, whatever that is. However, if I continued down this path and I did not pause, I would end up in a very resentful place. I would be in a place where I was not able to hold space for my clients, for my students in my hot seats. I wouldn't be in a place where I would just come to record this podcast and be so excited, I would probably feel really drained. And I have learned in the past that my health will suffer for it. And so in the past, my health would get so bad that I would then have to shut down and take time off. And I promised myself I would never do that again, that I am going to listen to the message and take time off so I'm not continuing to drain my energy and myself. So this message is especially going to hit home with business owners who are really thinking about, well, I am doing things. So that means I have to make money. How is this going to work? When you ask that question, how will this work? You ask it to spirit. And then you also brainstorm yourself. How will this work? And for me, I know 
that after the sabbatical that I'm going to be taking, I will feel more refreshed, more recharged and have more insight as to what I want to do. I might decide to end certain things and create new things, which I can already see these little inklings of, but I'm not in the place to create new things yet, but I know that it's going to come from whatever period of time I need to just rest and recharge. So that's the explanation, letting you know that I'm going to pause this podcast, but my current plan is to come back in the fall of 2024 and record some new episodes for you. So we'll see if that still remains true, but that is my current plan. And in my business, you can still get a reading from our wonderful readers, and you can still get my intuition development course as well and my meditations. So I just realized I have to take a step back from the business and not be in the limelight so that I can really see where I'm going in my own path and my own journey and to create more balance. So this detox card, it's time to purge, let go, release and clear your energy is a huge thing for surrender. And it's different for every single person, but because you're listening right now, this is a big message for you. What have you not been surrendering on? What have you been holding on to? For me, it was, I got to hold on to the schedule. I got to keep doing what I'm doing. And if I continue to do that, I wouldn't be a great teacher because I wouldn't be walking my talk, so to speak. And it's important that I remain authentic. And it's important that I am sharing with you things that have worked for me. And I know that every time I come up against this big, huge, it's time to change your business. I have resisted in the past. And I'm so proud of myself this time where I didn't come up against a huge health crisis. I'm saying, I'm listening. I gotcha. I want to take time off. Now, the next card is the abundance card. And so this is a great validation. If you have gotten a message to change your job, to just take a pause, to just put your hand up against something right now, whatever it is, we are so sometimes governed, controlled by fear that of our own making, really. I can't do that. What will happen? I can't stop my business. I'll lose all my clients. I can't stop my podcast. I'll lose all my listeners. I can't stop my relationship. I can't quit my job. Whatever it is, knowing that the universe loves it when you take care of yourself. The universe loves it when you're doing something that's in alignment for you. And the universe is so, so generous. There are so many surprises, so many beautiful things that the universe can then give you. But if you keep doing something that you don't feel aligned with doing, you can't receive it because you're literally blocking the message and you're blocking the opportunity. So for me, I've actually had a few opportunities that I knew were good opportunities, but I said, you know what? I'm going to ask spirit to give me this opportunity again when I come back from this time off, because I'm not in a place to receive it right now because my energy is tired and drained and I can feel that energy waning. And it's important for you to really lean into your energy and say no and say yes. And one of the ways that is really important for you to stop resisting your messages, which is going to sound really strange, is to get clear on your nose. And I'm going to tell you more when we come back after this break. As a professional psychic medium, I've done tens of thousands of readings, but I felt a call to move more fully into teaching intuition, but I still get so many requests about doing readings. So while I don't do readings anymore, I have brought in some very trusted colleagues who are now available for live one-hour readings on Zoom. If you would like to book your psychic medium reading, go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash appointments to see our available readers and schedule your Zoom reading today. Welcome back to the podcast. We are talking about how to stop resisting your messages. And I've been sharing a story from my own life. And I just talked about one of the ways to help stop resisting is to get clear on your nose. Why am I saying that? Sounds kind of weird. Well, when you get really clear on your nose, it is helpful for you to have those boundaries so you can move forward with your guesses and maybes. So when you say, you know what? I'm going to lean into the messages that I'm getting from my spirit guides. 
I am a sovereign being. I can choose. I have free will. And I will get really clear energetically on where my energy is right now. And if I can handle anything else right now. And that's going to be really important for you to receive messages that you might feel like you're resisting. It's important for you to get in alignment with your energy. If you are asking a question to your guides and you are saying to them, I would like additional opportunities for financial abundance in my business, they give you the opportunity and you're saying no, that is a clear indicator that something is blocking you, like you're blocking something. And so you have to really dive deep and say, is this something that I need to be looking at, but fear is holding me back? Or is this something that I can't do right now because my energy is drained? And if the answer is your energy is drained, then you got to start asking better questions to your spirit guides. Say, you know, hey, spirit, how can I have financial abundance while I'm resting? So looking in that way is really important and really get open and authentic with your spirit guides. So that kind of covers those messages that you get that don't make logical sense. But honestly, it is a good message overall. So short term, it might not feel like your messages make logical sense, especially in my situation, if you're thinking financial. However, long term, I know it will be beneficial financial because I will be in a better place, more excited place to come back and be refreshed and recharged. So really pay attention to why don't they make logical sense? Is it because I am not asking the right questions? Is it because it's going against my plan? What is that for you? Pay attention to it. Pay attention to your nose. But most of the time, if a message comes up over and over and over, lean into it to stop resisting. And you feel like sometimes you must not be getting it right. You can get a reading if you would like. I recently got an astrology reading. However, that astrology reading just validated everything I got from spirit, which was nice. So sometimes you want to get a reading, but don't try to go to like reader after reader after reader expecting a different message because your ego didn't like it. So It's okay to get a reading if you want some extra information, but trust your messages. Surrender. One of the biggest things that you can do for yourself when you feel like you're resisting is to allow yourself to slow down. We are in a fast-paced world, and sometimes we will try to really move into that slowness, that ease, that grace, have more rest for ourselves, but that might just look like it on the physical level but not really on the mental level. You can sit in your bed and sit there and watch Netflix. You can play on your phone, but you're not actually resting because sometimes your mind is just going, 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 what what, and how can I do this? You could be a stay-at-home mom and have a lot of children, but you feel like your life isn't your own because you're constantly doing this and that for everybody else. It's important for you to start exploring if you're getting a message to rest, put yourself first, how is this possible? How can I create more boundaries? Those kind of things. And then rest, like you have to receive and ask spirit. So it's going to be important for you to actually take action on those things and ask spirit, but also start looking at possibilities. What if? And it's a balance between your logic and your spirit guides. Now, another thing that you can do to stop resisting your messages, get a Reiki session, get a chakra balancing session, do it for yourself, whatever it is allowing those chakras to become unlocked just because of life, our relationships, our jobs, those kind of things. We feel like we are stuck in a stuck place. And it's really important for us to allow ourselves to become clear. So receive energy healing to unlock those areas. And finally, recognize that you can't control everything and that there is a higher power here and your spirit guides are assisting you. You are here on a soul level to experience life and to live your path. And you don't always know best. Sometimes that is the biggest thing is that we think it's all on us. We have to control our direction and everything. And while we are active participants in our life, and yes, we are responsible for the choices that we make, there is a soul lesson here. Your soul wants something else. And finally, it's okay to make changes. It's okay to surrender. It's okay to just say yes to new things that feel uncomfortable And really recognize that when you're following your intuitive messages, truly, truly intuitive messages, sometimes you got a gut check, make sure you're talking to spirit, 
And then maybe you get a reading where you're like, okay, you know, I know this is intuitive. When you follow your intuition, you are on the right path. It just might not make sense right now, but it always makes sense later. It's like hindsight is 2020. Thank you so much for being a listener of this podcast. Make sure you're subscribed so that when a brand new episode pops up back later in 2024, that you'll get the episode. Also make sure you're on my newsletter list. I will email you and let you know where there is a brand new episode that's coming out and I'll put the link in the show notes. But until the new episode comes out, whenever it is, here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. And if you loved it, would you please share it with a friend? I would also love your review and a reminder to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find me at messengerspirit.com And you can take the four intuitive languages quiz and find show notes there too. If you want to connect on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you can find me at messenger of spirit. I'll meet you right here next week. Here's to stand spiritual and ambitious. This podcast is part of the sound advice FM network. Sound advice FM. Women's Voices Amplified.